think the FA Cup is going to have to watch most of the Cup final. He's lasted just eight minutes. Well, you look at the alternatives now, don't you? He's got Beckham who can go into central midfield, Sheringham playing the hole, and Solskjaer possibly a little bit out on the right-hand side. Teddy Sheringham is the replacement. That's a major blow for them, that. This is how it happened. It was Gary Speed's challenge, and King fell awkwardly. May to Cole. Controlled it well. Sheringham instant control. Steps away from Lee. Sets up Paul Scholes. Slip back to Sheringham. 1-0. He's only just arrived in the FA Cup final. And Teddy Sheringham has given Manchester United the lead. Instant dividends for the Manchester United substitution. Sheringham's first club goal at Wembley. Yes, and the goal was all about Sheringham. He's made it, and not made a little layoff. It was threaded through ball, he's read the script. He's tucked it away nice and tidy, right through the keeper's leg. But look at that, not made little layoff, continues his run. Ball picks, picks out his run, nice smooth pass. Good slick movement from Manu, that. It's the 250th goal of Teddy Sheringham's club career. Neville's throw. Sheringham up a little bit early. Damizas down to Beckham. Held back out to Gary Neville, his prospective best man. Neville's cross. Sheringham was there. Solskjaer reached in front of him, glanced it across the goal. Giggs charged down by Griffin. Sheringham. Damizas got something on it. Speed headed away. Beckham first to the ball. It's Solskjaer. It's Andy Cole. Miscued it might dribble in. Scooped away by Nikos Davizas. Manchester United still on the attack. Lee with a challenge on Giggs. It was a real chance for Andy Cole. You know, in the space of two minutes, they just missed two sitters. Rob Lee won it back. Tossed forward by Shava. Shearer down to catch by Solano to his left. Domi here just behind him. Catch by Space now for Dita. Arman. Arman shot! Smart stop by Peter Schmeichel, low down to his left. It's a long, long way down for a man as big as Peter Schmeichel. And Dietmar Harman's shot had power. Well, the Newcastle fans know they've got their own Beckham in this man. He can't crack a ball, and that's a great shot and an excellent save. For the here and now and for the future. Beckham. Gary Neville. Sheringham! Beautifully flighted cross by Gary Neville, one that David Beckham would have been proud of, and Sheringham in pole position couldn't quite find the target. We made a comment a few minutes ago that we haven't seen any crossing. Since then, Neville's been down the right-hand side, produced two great balls, one of which I think Saucius could have scored, and I think Beckham's a touch unlucky here. Terry Venables, John Barnes and Bob Wilson to come during our half-time sequence here from Wembley. It's been a whirlwind first half. Lots of edge. A little needle. Tackles by the dozen. Just one goal and is faint pointing in the direction of Manchester United who lost their skipper, Roy Keane, very early in the game. But it's now or never for Newcastle United. And Duncan Ferguson, who came on early in the second half of the 1995 FA Cup final when Everton beat Manchester United, is on for the start of the second half here alongside Alan Shearer. Huge wall of sound now welling up from behind Schmeichel's goal. The Manchester United break. Geeks in full cry. Dabby Sass across. Solskjaer, Sheringham. Scores, it's two. <laughs> Clear daylight for Manchester United. And the treble moves ever closer into the range of Alex Ferguson's team. Paul Scholes has got their second goal. Now oh, it's fed in nicely. Look at Sheringham, a nice little run-off. And I don't think this fella ever misses. 
I think, in fact, this is the first time I can remember Sproles stepping up into the attacking zone. I said, just been mentioned it earlier, he's playing as the anchor man, but look at that. Well, this has to Teddy Sheringham, who scored goals here for England. That is Paul Scholes' first club goal on this ground. Alex Ferguson delights in the fact that his team now have a two-goal cushion. The Castle do have time, though. More time than they had last year after Nicholas and Elka's second goal. Griffin. Lee. In towards Shearer. Schmeichel did just enough. Kits fire. Schmeichel stranded. Oh! Was it, the, was it the foot of David May or was it the goalpost? Either way, it was a close, close straight for Manchester United. Now, who got it away? Oh, it's great. No David game for May. May. Brilliant defending. What's that in place of Cole, do you think? Well, there's certainly a little bit of promise on that Manchester United substitutes bench today. The other thing, of course, I just wonder if Giggs might get the pull here. Just to preserve him, if you like, for Barcelona. There's a free kick coming Manchester United's way. David May is none the worse for wear. It's Andy Cole. Brotherly hug from his running mate, Dwight York, who is now the new partner for Teddy Sheringham. I just wonder how much of a problem Sheringham's given Cole for his position at... Uh in Barcelona. Headed away by Shearer. Here's Skulls. Giggs. It's a good cross. It's Dwight York! Oh, it's a city, you know. It's more than a city. If he'd have scored then after what's he been on? Three, four minutes? I think I'd have rang Alex Ferguson asked him to do my lottery tonight. <laughs> I mean, this, this is one sometimes I think we criticise Giggs about his, his final cross. That's an excellent one. York, he hasn't quite read the script there. He's gone up very laboured. Still on the bench, I think. There goes Scholes. And I wonder if David May is another one who's played his way into the European Cup final team here. I wonder if that will be the change. Score of the second Manchester United goal goes to sit alongside Roy Keane as he must in the new camp on Wednesday night. Otherwise, I can't really see why they brought him on. I can understand Janssen going into midfield, but I would have thought they'd been extra, take extra care and make sure um, if Stam has got a problem, like Newcastle Giggs. at the moment. Sheringham. Oh, beautifully coached over the goalkeeper, but onto the top of the bar. Teddy Sheringham says his prayers, but it just drops the wrong side of a crossbar for him. Oh, exquisite football. He's being fouled, Giggs. Referees let play go on. He's turned it into Sheringham's path. Beautiful little, oh, little lob over the top. Get his eight, get his chip wedge out. Unfortunately, just goes off the top of the bar. We shall not be moved is the anthem, and nobody has been able to move them so far on this treasure trove. 1999 is the third Manchester United double year. It may yet be the first Manchester United treble year. Two down, one to go. FA Cup winners for the third time in six years. The second of their three steps to heaven. Today, Wembley. Tomorrow, well, if not the world, certainly Europe is a possibility. They just don't know when to stop. They're insatiable.